there is no other way of having access to the confidential aspects of Krishna other than purification. Purified existence. So that is the, this is the message of the Vedic literatures that unless we are purified, we will not be able to have access to those extraordinary, pure, confidential pastimes of the Lord. We will not be able to appreciate that is why in Gaudiya Vaishnavism, the strict Acharyas never wanted to discuss extensively about Radha, Krishna and those uh, uh, Vihara and, uh, and those kind of pastimes. Because unless you are qualified, you cannot relish those things. First, let us talk about acquiring these qualifications. Let us do that. Let us practice regulative principles of bhakti so that we get that sattvam parimar shtumarhati nanveshu. There is no other way. So let us now work on purifying our existence so that one day we will become qualified. That is the emphasis of the, of the strict Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharya. But unfortunately, even within Gaudiya Vaishnavism, there have been examples of devotees who don't practice this, but rush to the pastimes of Krishna in Vrindavan. That is not the right thing. So Prabhupada extensively talked about it and he said that we have to first learn how to purify our existence. How that we are not the body, we are the spirit soul. First we have to come to the platform of sattva guna and shuddha sattva guna be freed from the influence of rajo guna and tamo guna so these are the things that we have to work on this is where our focus should be not how was how krishna when krishna met radharani and radharani was angry at krishna what did krishna do these are very very confidential aspects we cannot relish these things when we are deceased how can we relish when a person who has got jaundice, you give him sugar cane, his, his sweetness cannot be relished.